Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. One of the best ideas I have ever seen, a Reese Chronological Study Bible. You know, the Reese Chronological Bible is really, it was revelatory, or revolutionary when it, it came out. It was basically just took, you know, Job's back in Genesis and it, you know, synthesized uh, Kings and Chronicles. And then you've got the Psalms and the prophets all throughout Kings and Chronicles and Samuel. And, you know, it harmonized the Gospels and uh, the uh, epistles are in chronological order instead of, you know, the order by size, the way they are in our current Bibles. You know, they started with the Pauline epistles, Romans, you know, biggest, and then 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, they went by size. And uh, it's just great. And so they have come out with this in a study edition. And I think it's put out by Bethany House. We'll look at that in just a minute. Bethany House puts out a lot of good books. They do the Janet Oak Christian fiction series. And the size of this, I don't know how they did that. This size is just great because it's real thin for a study Bible. Now, this is not the type Bible, it is Bethany House, by the way, this is not the type Bible that you'd want to take with you to church because you'd have a very difficult time finding things. It comes with a good dark navy blue stabilization page, beautiful gift page. And they've got these on sale right now at CBD, like really cheap. It says it's $39.99. I think they're on sale for $18.99. But, you know, this has been one of my favorite Bibles. I've read the Reese Chronological through several times. I actually got one sent off to Norris Book Binding to get it in leather because I was reading it so much. I'll let you see the table of contents here. We'll take a look there. While we're doing that, I'll see if I can find. There it is, the ruler. We know Jesus is the ruler, but I'm talking about this little wooden ruler that we can measure stuff with. We can pull it out from the stack. I'm trying to catch up on some of my reviews and just teaching. And so today's review day. Appreciate Sister Francesca coming over. There is a little biography of Reese, the person who did this Reese Chronological Bible, and uh, Scotty Backhouse has added study helps. So this is just a fantastic thing. So you can see, let's see where we're at. See, it comes with a little timeline on the outside, like 4003 promise of redemption so you can see it's kind of like a commentary at the bottom on the edges it's going to have uh, the time periods really good print they really hit a great sweet spot of the size of this Bible print and information it says over 200,000 copies sold so I couldn't recommend this Bible more highly. Now let's see, Reese differed from Usher. Now it looks like you've got Usher's chronology here, 4004. In an original Reese, you're going to have like Reese's chronology, Usher's chronology, and another chronology, I can't remember. And then Reese in the front of that Bible has all kinds of chronologies. Let's go here to 4004 BC. This is Genesis 1. And then I'll take you to kind of how it's set up, what makes it so cool in the setup. Now, they've come out with a chronological life application that is awesome as well. I've done a review on that, and that's just fantastic. This is not going to have nearly the bells and the whistles and the information as the chronological uh, is. But I mean, look at this, like the birth of Methuselah, the 57th generation, uh, death of Seth, age 912, just a lot of great. And so he died 2714 BC. So you can kind of see like the overlapping too, like Noah and Enoch's overlapping and Methuselah and Noah's overlapping. And then Noah and uh, the patriarchs overlapping. 
so this is like Noah's flood so I mean just so many study materials this is something that I may have to just dig into and make part of my regular study schedule it's that good <laughs> I was so thankful I've had it on my hit list for like years I think it came out in 2015 it's 2018 and uh, just never had the money till recently to get it and I am very grateful that I was able to do that so yeah so okay here's an example so like you have first Chronicles 1 interspersed with Ishmael's children so here's an example of uh, of that occurring of some of the integration of the Bible with that now let's see where it put because I knew in his other Bible he really put Job way back here ah so he's got Job at the end of Genesis so like on this you've got first Chronicles 7 first Chronicles 2 Genesis 50 Genesis 47 Genesis 50 Exodus 1 and Job 1 all on these two pages so that is so cool I know our uh, one of our music guys at the church he reads his Bible through twice a year. He's very diligent. I'm very grateful for music people that read their Bible through that much. He reads his Bible through twice a year. And uh, when I told him about the Reese Chronological, I mean, he comes to me all the time. Did you know that David was living at this time? Did you know that David was this age when this happened? Did you know? And I do know there's debates on all these dates as well. That, uh, you know, how old was Isaac when the sacrifice was going up? You know, Abraham was going to offer him for sacrifice. You know, there's just so many suppositional things there. Oh, wow. Look at this. I am just stunned. And so, like, Psalm 78 is here with Deuteronomy 34, which is here with Psalm 91. Look at that. So, you just... I recommend everybody to read the Bible through. They should teach this in Bible college. Like for everybody to read the Bible through chronologically because you get this amazing feel for the Bible. I mean, it's just incredible that you can't get any other way and then you've got this that has study helps um, it's going to have cultural and historical notes that shed light on biblical events and context geographical archaeological notes that help verify scriptural accounts explanations of difficult passages and words ages and genealogies of key figures detailed timelines canon order chapter by chapter scripture index 365 day reading plan now, I did want to show you in the back, lest you sit there and say, I don't know how to follow this. You can look in the back and in just like your regular Bible, it'll tell you what page or pages the chapter you're looking for is on. So this is how you would use it. Like if you did end up taking this to church and the pastor says, turn with me to Luke 4, then you'd have to look in the back and say, where is Luke 4? Give me the page number to Luke 4. So it is possible, but it is more difficult. Like Mark 14 is on pages 1111, 12, 14, 15, 17, 22, 23, 24, and 25 because it's going to be integrating the Gospels. And this is not going to be red letter, I do not think. It is not. So let's look at the integration of the Gospels. On this, we've got the Triumphal Infantry and the Jerusalem. You've got Matthew 21, Luke 19, Mark 11, John 12, and then Mark 21 again, the cursing of the fig tree, Mark 11. And so it's just amazing. It's like reading the harmony of the Gospels, um, but you're reading it, not just reading the stuff. And I will tell you, in doing it this way, like at the back of a lot of Bibles, it'll say Jesus uh, performed like 37 to 39 miracles, or he performed, you know, he did like 39 parables. Well, I start counting in here when I used to read through all the time, and it's way more. 
more than that a lot more and you don't know it until you're in here and look at these bethany maps <whistles> look at this and i love how in the exodus they actually have them with the possibility of going through water most bible maps don't which i've never understood unless they're trying to say the the tongue of the red sea used to go up that far so this is just so good now let's measure this thing let's see it is nine and a half inches a little less than nine and a half inches tall which is good size you know that's a medium size bible i'm gonna guess it is six and a quarter inches wide let's see it is oh almost six and a half inches wide so that's again that's just a mid-sized bible nine and a half by six and a half but where this thing's really going to shine is in the width let's see here it is let's see if we can see this it's an inch and a half wide which is not wide at all and the print size see this is probably at least 10 point print and it's not dark it does have some ghosting i'll just let you look at the print on a random page and you can see up at the top it'll have like the date and all this so again this is like bible school in a bag kind of thing and not totally this is like um a semester <laughs> in a bag let's say but it's just really good um can't tell if it's sewn binding or not got this in hardback because it's cheaper fits on the shelf it does not have a ribbon marker also i get asked just like a ton to provide isbn numbers and so i'm just going to see if sister francesca will zoom in on that isbn number so you can look at that but the reese chronological study bible awesome <laughs> great bible love it hope you love it too god bless talk with you later in jesus